promised myself that I would not do another video until I got proper lights and until I could be bothered to actually paint my face. Is anyone listening? I am going to make a parmesan and beef mint meatloaf. It's not as disgusting as it sounds. Here's how we're going to do it. What are you doing down here? Oh, you're eating something from the floor. No, no, no. Yet I give him a courgette and it's the most disgusting thing he's ever tasted. Try and eat some greens. You want that? No. This is what you're going to need. A loaf tray. This one is a silicon one. I like it. Pancetta. An onion. Some grated... Grana... Pandano cheese. Some Parmesan cheese. It was at Costco. One slice of bread. I use Vogels because it's nice and seedy. Think in whole grains. One teaspoon of tomato puree. One egg. One clove of garlic. Clean beef mince. 500 grams of this. The breadcrumbs you can put in the Vitamix. Or a blender of your choice. <laughs> A little hand blender. Oh, it's okay. See? Breadcrumbs. Chop up the onion. There is no way I can film this and not cut a finger off at some point. I have got absolutely no knife skills whatsoever and yet own an entire set of flint and flame knives. He nearly lost several fingers in my lifetime. Yeah. Whap, whap, whap. Onions in. Garlic. If you're used to cooking with me over on Snapchat or Instagram stories, you'll know that I love this. Very lazy, chopped garlic. Got the whole range of the Very Lazy Company. They're ginger, chopped chilies. Can't be without them because, you know, I've got no time. But today I'm gonna use an entire whole clove of garlic. I'm gonna trouble myself to take, you know, like three minutes of my time out of my day to cut this up. Oh, no, even better. <laughs> it's like, it's like <laughs> captains of crush. <laughs> okay, I need to work on my grip strength. Bread crumbs in, pancetta. Yummy. Yum. 500. After touching me, always wash your hands. A spoon of tomato. What is with my grip strength? Tomato puree. Four tablespoons. Unless you live in England and we don't understand cups and tablespoons and flipping, it measures out at about 60 grams. Bang it. Oh, that's good. Is you need to put your hands in here and knead it together. I don't like to touch raw meat, it like... That's exactly how I feel, it's horrible. Done. I make around four portions, four generous portions. 370 calories per slice, 40 grams of protein, 19 grams of fat, 9 grams of carbohydrate. Now, what are the things that you could have with this? I am going to have it relatively low carbohydrate, so I am going to roast up some cauliflower. I don't feel like I need to show you how to roast up cauliflower, it's really simple. Segment this up, a Pyrex dish, spray with a buttload of groovy food. <laughs> roast it for about 35 minutes, and that is what I'm having with my meatloaf tonight. If you're a parent,
that will be toothpaste, not throffing at the mouth. But you've got to say goodnight now, haven't you? Say night. Night. Oh, you know. <laughs> you've got to see this. That's my cauliflower. That's going in the oven for about 30 minutes and then dinner is served. One piece will feature in my lunchbox tomorrow with the leftover roasted cauliflower, maybe a few tomatoes in there. Right, I am shattered. Look at my face. I'm tired. I'm up at 5.30. I've got a couple of online check-ins to do with you guys now. And then I'm going to have myself a glass of wine and watch Ashley Evil Dead. Right. Good night all.